What up, bros? This is the All Bros Channel. I am Jonathan Rose. Channel? Oh, the All Bros Podcast. I'm sorry. Gosh, you're the worst. <laughs> Shut up. This is the All Bros Podcast. Can't even read it one time. Shut your asshole. Or you cannot even not read it one time. I'm sorry, okay? Jeez. <laughs> I am Jonathan Rose. And I am disappointed. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> You gonna say your name or no? Oh yeah, I'm Caleb Albers. Thank you. And we are a couple of aspiring filmmakers that love to watch and critique movies, but also enjoy a lot of bit of the nerd life. Uh, this week on the podcast, we will be talking about some Captain Marvel trailer news, uh, and then we'll be talking about some Aquaman photos that were released. Uh, we'll be looking at, uh, well, sorry, talking about uh, Wonder Woman's new costume in uh, the second movie. Uh, and then we'll be going over some trailers for The Grinch and Unfriended Dark Web. And then we have our main event, which is our Reference Fail Showdown, as well as our Marvel Hero Showdown. The first duo main event. Yeah. So, that should be fun. Oh, yeah. Um, so we don't got any pop or Blu-ray stuff. No, nah, dude, I'm fresh out. <laughs> yeah, the only stuff I've got is I got Colossus, which oh. I freaking love, but wait, I lied. I did get the FYE exclusive, uh, Jack Jack, which oh, is, you found him? yeah, they had a shit ton. Oh, did they? Yeah. So like I got a box that was in. Is he cool looking? Yeah, I like him a lot. I like he looks a lot cuter in per- a lot better in person, but he looks freaking adorable. So, but I definitely want to get the common as well. Mm. I just don't care about the hot topic uh, chrome, not chrome. No, it is chrome. Yeah, it's not metallic. Yeah, it's chrome. I think so, or is it metallic? I can't remember. Yeah, metallic. Okay, it's it's one of those. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just I just don't care for that one. I'm good. I don't think he's worth fifteen bucks. Yeah, fair enough. So yeah, that's um, all I got. Anyway, so that's all we got in Adventures in Hunting. <laughs> Jumping so to weak. Through the Wall. We got a Captain Marvel trailer being possibly being released on Wednesday. And I'm freaking excited, dude. <laughs> dude, me too. Because I, I, I don't know if there's like a lot riding on this movie, but it is Marvel Studios' like first... like female driven superhero movie Mm -hmm. so i mean dc did it great with wonder woman so hopefully marvel can do the same i think female driven movies dude are like great they are oh i absolutely agree like a lot of them and i i think like she hulk would be freaking bitching in the mcu yeah she would still waiting on a black widow movie yeah still waiting on the black widow movie well i bet I'm wondering if, like, Captain Marvel is going to be the deciding factor for a Black Widow movie. Then I sure as hell hope this movie succeeds. Yeah, no joke, dude. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see, like, what we'll see of her. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to see her in her colored costume or if we're going to see her in that green or the off-greenish. I, don't know, I actually really like that costume. I know a lot of people have said they don't like it. I dig it. I think it looks really cool. So the reason that she changes it, yeah, in the comics, I think. I mean, I might be getting this wrong just because I don't read a lot of you Captain probably Marvel are. stuff. I'm just kidding. But Captain Marvel, Marvel, is, yeah. So there's there's two. There's Captain Marvel, which is like a dude, and then people just call him Marvel. And then oh, when okay. Carol takes over the role, she becomes Captain Marvel. Gotcha. And then gets like the color or the costume color change and everything. Oh, okay. but Captain Marvel is the one with the uh, the green and whatever color oh, costume. Interesting. I mean, I dig the costume color too, but yeah. it's just Captain Marvel's color, not Captain Marvel's. No, I get you. So I'm hoping we get to see all of that. I want to see how her powers are portrayed too. Oh, me too. But I'm excited, dude. Oh, I'm super well, pumped. Let's hope it actually releases. I'm going to be so sad if it doesn't. <laughs> Marvel's just making me sad. Or if it doesn't get released, Marvel's just making me sad all over the place. Yeah, they really are. Uh, hey, but at least we are... Yeah, we're less than a month away from Ant-Man and the Wasp. 
is true. Yeah. And that there's no way that movie can let me down. No. Uh-uh. I mean, unless it's just like the best parts are in the trailer, which I highly doubt. Yeah. I highly doubt that. Fingers crossed, though. It's great. Yeah. So jumping to the Aquaman photos that were released. Those are pretty Bitchin'. great. Yeah. So we get the kind of the face off looking photo. Yeah. Between oh, is it Patrick Wilson? Yeah. Yeah, Patrick Which Wilson. Which you and... pointed out you think looks really weird. It is. It's it's mainly Aquaman. Okay. I don't like the way that his hair is just like super straight. <laughs> That's fair. And like pinned up behind his head. It's a little funky, unless it's like a ceremonial looking like thing, which No, I get that. Might be. Yeah. But still it looks weird. What do you think? Uh, this isn't about the photos, but I want to say James Wan came out and said this that uh, in Atlantis they don't do that that uh, speech bubble thing that they had in Justice League. Like they can actually talk underwater. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was that was stupid. That was so stupid. It, it made it didn't make any sense. Yeah, underwater people can't talk underwater. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's so dumb. The I've just watched like one of the um, animated uh, Justice League movies. I think it was Throne of Atlantis on Hulu. Never seen it. It's it's not bad. Okay. Well, it's it's kind of it. like the clean cut blonde Aquaman that we're used to. That's the one that they portray. Uh, okay. Um, but they show him taking over the throne, and the Justice League are down there, and Wonder Woman and Superman are down there without any like gear or anything and so they're like talking but it's kind of like it's weird sounding interesting um cyborgs down there batman's down there but they all have like stuff covering their faces to help them breathe um but then aquaman comes up and his voice kind of like echoes a little bit yeah and then everyone else's kind of sounds like not echoey Hmm, interesting like kind of how it would sound behind a mask yeah and i get you so, huh. kind of cool. Yeah. I like how he's able to talk underwater. If they had the speech bubble, that'd be so dumb. That Yeah, that would. Um. Anyway. So, Patrick Wilson looks pretty killer. I wasn't sure how he was going to pull off Um, his brother. Yeah. So. I had I the same fears. Yeah. So... I think in this they share the same mother, which is going to be Nicole Kidman. Oh, okay. And Aquaman's father is going to be the one that's the the human. Oh, okay. And the one that, like, raises him and everything. I literally haven't read, like, any comics about Aquaman, so I literally know any, nothing about him. If I, I were you, would... I'd watch the Throne of Atlantis okay. movie. Okay. Just, it gives you a... A pretty decent history of Aquaman. And you said it's on Hulu? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Okay. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. So, Orm... Or, so, Orm is the name of his brother. And his brother's a freaking... Is jacked up, dude. Yeah, he freaking kills his mom. Damn. Yeah. Spoiler alert. I'm it's not kidding. that big of a spoiler. I know, so, I'm just kidding. Mara's kind of like her guard... Yeah. Like, like her head guard. And so she, the queen sends Mara to go find uh, Arthur, Aquaman. Okay. She goes off, collects him, and then the Justice League are kind of like trying to question him. And so he, she, they talk for a bit and then he starts coming back because she's supposed to, the queen is supposed to have like this peace meeting between the Atlanteans and the... Uh, the Amazons, uh-huh. and then they go, or, it, no, it's not the Amazons, it's with the Justice League, just so they, because they're starting to, like, realize that Atlanteans are a thing, and that they're the rogue Atlanteans that are going off and doing crazy shit, <laughs> All right. and then Orm is, like, 100% against humans, so he kills his mom and then the justice league come down and he's just like oh i'm the king and they're like um no you're not (laughs) (laughs) nice try 
Yeah, but it's a good movie. Okay, I'll it's check pretty, it out. It's one of their better animated movies. DC kills in the freaking animated movies. They really movies. do. Oh. The one thing I wish they would do is keep the animation style consistent. Yeah, I can't agree with that. Have you seen um, the, uh, I think it's called Batman Assault on Arkham, where it focuses on the Suicide Squad? Yeah. That one's so good. I that think. movie could have honestly been called Suicide Squad. Yeah, it could have, but... I mean, how much of Batman did we actually end up seeing? That's true. Not a whole lot. <laughs> That's very, very true. Captain Boomerang was awesome, though. I loved him in that. Yeah. Um, we also got to see Black Manta oh, with yeah. his helmet. And I thought his helmet was going to look goofy. It looks killer. It does. I'm amazed that they were able to pull this off. I, like, I think it's something that, like, a whole ensemble that needs to be that we need to see because we just see the helmet yeah. and the helmet on its own versus on a suit may look completely different. True. True. So hopefully it's not too goofy, but so far Fingers I'm crossed. loving it. Me too. When does Aquaman come out again? It comes out this year. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh. I think in like December, I want to say, Yes. and we, we still haven't seen like a trailer or anything for it. Since James Wan directed it, I have a lot of faith in him. So, what else has he done? He's done um, the Conjuring's. Both, I think he did both Conjuring's, and he's done, I think, Fast, Fast Five. Uh, I don't think he did the sixth one. He did the seventh one, and I don't think he did the eighth one. I don't. After like, see, the Conjuring is really what sells me. Because after watching these those movies, like I know this movie isn't like horror, but seeing his like style of directing, I love it. So I, I really look forward to see what he does with Aquaman. Okay, well I'm too much of a wuss to watch The Conjuring, Dude, so all I have to do is go off of the uh... scariest. Like The Conjuring is the scariest movie I've ever seen. Like I told you, I punched myself in the face <laughs> because I jumped so high. That's pretty great. Body just had to fall. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm... Nope. <laughs> if you're saying it's like the scariest movie, that... And the sequel comes damn close to it. Like, the sequel's just as good. Some people were saying it was scarier. It it might be, actually. That's messed what up. It? Um, it has, like, that catchy jingle about... um. Uh, what's... It's like this... Oh, I forget the name of it. You keep talking. I'm going to look up the name of this guy. Okay. So, yeah, if it's going off the, f like, Fast and Furious movies, I have, I don't think I've seen the fifth one, but I have seen the seventh one. And the story was okay, but the action was really good. Yeah. I the think one thing with Fast and Furious, it just gets more and more unrealistic. Yeah. And that bugs me. Um, but we also got to see the photo of Nicole Kidman. Um, so I did not see that one. You haven't? Uh, -uh. It, it's kind of a basic looking picture. It's just kind of, it looks like she's in a boat with Arthur as a kid. Oh, okay. So it's not anything like crazy. That's what he's called the crooked man. That's that's what he looks like. What the f is that? That's the is that from the Conjuring? Yeah, it's from the Conjuring. Oh no way in hell! I'm watching that. Ooh 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 ooh. Yeah, forget that shit. Come on, dude. Any ch you just lost me completely just because of that picture. I'll have to show you the song after we're done <laughs> recording. Oh, this, you can go to hell. No, this song is catchy as hell. <laughs> oh. uh, anyway, <laughs> getting off the topic of horror, we also get to see Wonder Woman's new costume in Wonder Woman 1984. Is that really what it, they're calling it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like the hashtag is WW84. Can we just, can they just call it Wonder Woman eighty four? I think Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four just I don't know. Wonder Woman eighty four sounds better, doesn't it? Dude, Wonder Woman 
Or what's wrong with Wonder Woman 2? Yeah, no shit, right? Can we just keep it simple? The Incredibles did that. I mean, 1984? I mean, that's kind of... Yeah. That's a really specific year. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, I w- I'd rather just take Wonder Woman 2. Like, or you could just call it Wonder Woman Cold War. There you go. See, that's on Because that's like around the time that the Cold War was ending up. Yeah. So that's... Freaking bugs me. Freaking Warner Brothers. Have you also seen like some of the photos? Yeah. Steve Trevor? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. I mean... Whole first movie was a lie. Yeah, no shit. Like, is Steve Trevor back? Is he like on a hallucination of Wonder Woman's? Is... Is he like some crazy immortal that's just reborn after he dies or what? be interesting to see what patty jenkins does i'm just so glad that she came back for the sequel yeah agreed i mean i can get over the name if the movie's good yeah oh me too so yeah her new costume though she is gorgeous as always Got yeah dot. i mean it's, so it's super different it's like her armor's been polished or something yeah and that's really it yeah <laughs> yeah that's yeah that's about it I can't believe they said it was like a new costume. I know, right? Dude. I was like, it's oh, not cool. a new costume. It's the exact same thing. What the hell are you guys talking about? It's maybe like shinier. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Did she have like the armbands on her bicep? I think so. Because if she didn't, that's like really the only new thing. That's like the only thing that stood out to me. Uh, let's... Yeah, look it up. See if it's. Wonder Woman, where are you there? No, that's the that's the picture from 1984. Oh wait, what am I looking up again? Look up her like from the first movie. Oh, sorry. And see if we can find any differences. Sorry. Because I can't see any. The only thing that I thought... No, she wore it on her same arm. Oh, yeah. So, nothing's changed. Yeah. It's see, just been dusted after World War Two. <laughs> yep, yeah, exact same. That's dumb, dude. That is really dumb. Don't say it's a new costume if it's just shinier. It's some bullshit. <laughs> hey, they gotta, you know, have clickbait. Mm-hmm. They gotta have that. Um, any other movie or other news oh, that you got? Yeah, uh, The Incredibles two. Sorry, Incredibles two. I don't. I still don't get why they didn't call it The Incredibles two. But I mean, I guess I can just let that slide. Seriously, that's what you're complaining about. Sorry, it just bugs me. The first one's called The Incredibles, and then this one's called Incredibles two. Get over it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, but. Incredibles 2 now uh, has the title of biggest box office opening for an animated film. Brought in $180 million, beating Finding, Do- Finding Dory, which had the previous record with, I think, it was either 132 or $134 million. So it beat it by a shit ton. Yeah, damn. Um, and I couldn't be happier because this sequel was fantastic, was worth the wait, and yeah, and this asshole hasn't seen it yet. Forget you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. It's Incredibles 2. Come on. I know. I'm going to go try and see it tomorrow. If you can't try to see it the next week, please. Yeah. Because we got to review that soon. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to. I'll either try to get it so we can review it next week or the week after. Cool. But Sounds not, Gucci, fam. <laughs> get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. Uh, I don't got anything else with news, do you? No. Uh, no, that's all I got. Okay, then let's jump to this week's sneak peeks. We got two trailers. We, we actually have... forgot to add a trailer. Which one? Halloween. Didn't we talk about Halloween last time? No, we talked about the small... Uh, like oh the picture yeah and the um okay. just like the little teaser that they gave yeah no because the um 
think the trailer came out the like the day after we recorded. So. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got three of them. We got the Grinch, Unfriended, Dark Web, and Halloween. Yeah. Is it just being called Halloween? Yeah, it's or? just Halloween. Well, that's confusing as shit. I know, right? <laughs> um, the first one's called it, and the last one is called it. Which do I start with? Shit. So I say we save Grinch for last, since I want to end on a happy-ish note. Okay. So, unfriended, dark web. Cool, start with the shittiest one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, fine. We can start with Halloween. No, let's let's start with Unfriended. <laughs> okay. So the first Unfriended was freaking terrifying. It was like I don't know, like Dude, it was so different. It is, it's but a yet very everyone's been movie. trying to copy it. Like there was like the um, uh, what was it? Uh, like that one that they did that uh basically was just focused on like unfriending someone on Facebook. I forget what it was. Wasn't that one unfriended? Oh, no, that was fr- friend request. I think that's what it was. Friend called. request. Yeah. I didn't see that one. I neither don't. did a lot of people. <laughs> I never saw it either. Um, but I don't know. I I just don't see why unfriended needed a sequel. I mean, I think that's I think it's kind of cool that they're like going into the dark web because it's a messed up part of the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. Like, the acting kind of sucks. It, it's all yeah. right. The, the, I, like the the concept is cool. Yeah. The concept oh. of it being like a, like you're getting the footage off of someone's computer is really cool. Yeah. Oh, I agree. But it's all it's like the kids acting wasn't great. A lot of the like the scenes that they were showing like the videos footage that, that they were cool. finding that was freaking scary, yeah. dude. Yeah. Not cool. Sorry, I shouldn't say that because there's some disturbing stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to take that back. Yeah, Rose is messed up in the head. I know, I'm an asshole. Um, like, that stuff was cool. Yeah. And it's, like it, It's not cool. Whatever. <laughs> Intr- no, it's not interesting. It's scary. There you go. Okay. We'll use scary. Yeah, it was just, like, super messed up. Yeah. Like, you see... You see a like, girl in a barrel. F- yeah. That, Where they unscrew the like the water barrel, yeah, and then they unscrew the little cap, and then they look in, and I don't know what I was expecting to see. I wasn't expecting a freaking person, yeah, and that freaking scared the shit out of me, dude. Oh, it scared the shit out of me too, first. Especially when like when they it. first took it off, I wasn't ex- like sent, not expecting a person. I was just like, "What is that?" All of a sudden, <laughs> you just see an eye looking out. You're just like, "What the hell?" Yeah. Ugh. And then they were scrolling through like weird pictures and everything, and I'm pretty sure that those aren't the pictures that are going to be shown. Yeah, probably. Not. They were too fuzzy and just kind of like pictures of nothing. Yeah. For me to believe that it was that those were the real pictures. Yeah, no, I agree. Especially since you can't freaking trust trailers anymore. No, you cannot. Thanks, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you, but shit. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't. I might catch this like on like a matinee, like a five buck Tuesday, but that's about it. I'm not even gonna see it in theaters because I'm a freaking wuss. I'm gonna wait for it to come out on. <laughs> You're gonna wait Blue for Ray. me to buy it, and then I can give you the digital copy. Unless, are you are you gonna I, buy it? I don't know. Just depending on how it is. Yeah, I mean, I bought the first Unfriended. True. But I actually really enjoyed that one. And I yeah, thought the trailer for that one was actually really good. So, Yeah, the acting was a lot better in the trailers than this one. Yeah, oh, way better. Um. Alright, jumping to Halloween now. Yes. This one's freaking messed up too. Yeah, but what I think is so interesting is basically they're saying screw Halloween 2 through... <laughs> Uh, resurrection. Uh, all that happened was the first one, and Michael Myers has been locked up for forty years. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that. I I'm very interested to see where they take this. I haven't seen the other ones, so I don't. We know. gotta have a marathon before this movie comes out. Just yeah. Saying. Um, I don't know. I think that's like really cool how they're showing like how Laurie Strode like basically just hope she prayed that he would break out, 
And the guy's like, why the hell would you do that? And he's like, well, so she's like, so I could kill him. You just, like you see her like just like practicing like almost I I'm sure like almost every day, mm-hmm. just just shooting. She even has like a hidden, uh, uh, hidden area in her house that to where her like count her kitchen counter moves and she can go under. Uh... Oh my goodness! Like in a bunker. Yeah, that's yeah. Dude, way. I showed the this trailer to my dad. Yeah. And he saw the cabinet moving and he's like, "Is that a hidden bunker under a cabinet?" And I was like, "Yes." And he's like, "I want one." Oh my gosh. Like, dude, I would totally build one if I knew how. I would, too. Like, no joke. (laughs) Ending, though, scared the shit out of me with Michael Myers. With uh, the teeth? No, no, not that. No, it's when... uh, Oh, that scared me. (laughs) That did scare me, too. Um, But the scene at the end, it's... uh, I think it's, like, a little girl, or I can't remember if it's a little boy or a little girl, basically telling their parent, hey, can you, uh, you know, shut the door? They walk over, keep trying to shut like three times. Oh my finally, gosh! Michael Myers just like slams it into them, and you just like see him and it scares the shit out of me. Dude, oh, oh I'm so excited for this movie. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna Ooh. be scarred for life. And also, I loved the um, scene at the beginning when uh, one of the um, doctors um like comes to the actual like mental hospital and like shows michael his mask and then you just hear other patients just like laughing it's like, Dude, creepy as uh, hell if i was like one of the the guards or like security or one of the other like doctors there i'd be like what the f- are you doing you think that when are they, you serious how did they not notice that they brought that or like how could you give it a go for them to bring that why just why? It's like you know how much that mask means to, means to him, right? Like, dude, as soon as I like when he comes out and pulls out the mask, yeah, I'm just like, oh, he's first to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you remember '78, right? Like, it's the biggest. I'm assuming in this world, it's still the biggest massacre in in Had. Well, of course, in Haddonfield. But oh my gosh, dude, so hey, stupid. I, Dude, I can't so wait for you stupid. to see see the other movies. I'm very excited for you to see them, especially number one and number two. Well, wait, you've already seen. I've them, seen right? one. Okay, so yeah, but like I told you, like one and two are basically just like one long movie, and I love that. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for that. I, I kind of hate that they're ignoring Halloween two, because it's such a good sequel. I wonder how much they're ignoring it. Yeah. Like, did they say it's just? I don't know because completely ignoring it. I don't know because in the trailer, uh, the girls like um, wasn't uh, Michael like Laurie Strode's brother, and she's like, no, that was that was just something made up, something people spread. But it's not said until the second movie that they were brother and sister, mm. so they must be acknowledging it a little bit. Okay. So, even with that one, what, that wouldn't explain his obsession with her. No. I'm trying to remember why Michael Myers is so adamant on killing Lori. Damn it, I'm going to have to watch the movies Because again. he's an asshole. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, he, he killed his sister when he was only like 10. Mm-hmm. That's still one of my favorite openings to a movie ever, and especially because it's one shot. Like, it doesn't cut at all. You see him walk to the back of the house, walk in, grab the knife, and walk upstairs. No cuts at all. And it's so awesome. Oh. Yeah, Sorry. That, I have to admit that was a pretty great opening. That's like one of the standout scenes. Always will remain my favorite horror movie of all time. I love Halloween. It's so good. Dude, I think you could open a lot of horror movies with a one shot. Oh, I agree. There's not, there's not too many one shots anymore, which sucks. Cause I mean, I know they take a while, but they turn out so well. It's a huge payoff. Mm-hmm. I think because we're doing a script for Five Nights at Freddy's, yeah. I think an opening one shot of The Bite of 87 would be freaking killer. Yes, let's do it. And like just panning around like all the like all the party stuff going on and and then it like goes to the bite. Yes. If only we had the budget to actually make this movie. I know. <laughs> That's why we're sending it to Blumhouse. There you go. <laughs> Dreams can come true. Dude, if they actually made 
that our movie, yeah. I would shit my pants. <laughs> oh, I would too. I'd do more than that. I'd soil them. Is that, that's the same thing. That's not it? more. <laughs> Sorry. I'd go If anything, that's eyes. less. Oh, like, whatever. number three. <laughs> whatever. No, I thought, yeah, okay, whatever. That'd be pretty great, though. I'd do something big. Um, the last trailer we got is The Grinch. I'm still not on board. You're not? No. I'm sorry. It, I don't know. Like, I, I think Benedict Cumberbatch was a great choice to play The Grinch. Don't get me wrong. I love his voice acting in it. But I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Especially with the beginning. Like, since when is since when does the Grinch live in that nice of a place? Yeah. It was it was it was nice. Like compare that to Ron How it was Ron Yeah, it was Ron Howard that directed The Grinch. Like that made sense, like how his place looked like shit. But I mean that makes sense. That's where you kind of expect the Grinch to live. I always thought people hated him too. Like, with the animated How the Grinch Stole Christmas, yeah. did he did he ever interact with other people? No. Um, it was just little Lucy Lou, right? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, what I... It seemed, though, in, like, the animated one, like, when he came, they welcomed him with, like, open arms. But whereas in the live action, they were like, get the hell away from us. So that's kind of different. So, I mean, I guess maybe in this one, there it's kind of going off like the original um that like he's like they kind of ignore him but he's welcome into whoville yeah i don't know i'm not so i mean i'm still glad dude the one thing that gets me yeah is when he's taking the shower and drying off and then the little fishbowl comes over his head yeah why i don't (laughs) the the chest part with max that was funny yeah that was pretty good um and and I'm still glad that it's focused on him stealing Christmas cuz I mean I would be very mad if they didn't make a Grinch movie about him stealing uh, it's not uh, like it doesn't even seem like uh I don't know his motivations aren't great no they're really not like it just seems like he just doesn't like Christmas Yeah. And he's just like I don't I don't want anyone to have Christmas this year yeah which isn't a strong motivation like the Grinch in Jim Carrey's was great Oh, like, like that scene with him as a child, like, psh, I'd hate Christmas, too. <laughs> right? Like, damn. I mean, they kind of do show a little bit, like, how, like, he was he was in an orphanage, and, you know, like, he dreamed of having, like, a Christmas morning, like, the Who's did. But I don't know, it's not really anything to go off of. Yeah. Uh, was that a dream? Yeah, I think so, because, like, remember, it, like, or... I don't know, because, like, after that, like, it all just, like, fades away, and then, like, you just see him staring out the window. Hmm. I think it could be a flashback, and we're just getting Yeah, tricked. that's probably what it is. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'll still go see it, just because I, I like the animation. And I, I like Illumination. Like, my favorite of their movies is Sing. Have you seen that yet? Yes. Good, right? Yeah, it's I, pretty good. I... I, I Maybe not love, but, like, I really enjoy that movie. That's why it's my favorite of them, of their work. But, I don't know, like, unless this thing can dazzle me, the original animated will still be my favorite. Yeah. Probably will still. So, uh, I definitely see toys galore coming out of oh, this. Oh, yeah, of course. Unlike the other one. So. I hate the tagline, though, for this movie. Resting Grinch face really oh my gosh dude i haven't face palmed so hard in my life that has got to be the stupidest tagline for a movie ever yeah uh and i saw that it pissed <laughs> me off so much i'm like why why illumination like how stupid can you be you people are the worst <laughs> exactly uh yeah fingers crossed or hold out a little bit of hope this is a side note. Yeah. But with Illumination, you know the Minions. Mm-hmm. They did. So Trey Parker, the one of the creators of South Park. Yeah. That does like voices and stuff. Mm-hmm. He he did one of the voices for the, or what's his face in Despicable Me 3. 
I haven't watched it, so I don't know. Oh yeah, his he name. did uh Balthazar Balthazar Brat, the villain. That's it, yeah. yeah. He was I, really good. Was he? Yeah. He was one of the best parts of that movie. Yeah, so I haven't seen it all the way through. I've so I don't like know their names or anything, but he was talking about going to watch the dis or he watched the other Despicable Me's. Yeah. And he was talking to the audio guys and asked what the frequency was. Yeah. For the minions. Uh-huh. And then they told him. And so he went home, downloaded like audio for like the mice in Cinderella and the minions and like all these other little like the where the voices are really high pitched. And he went in and changed or the frequency back or like did like a reverse frequency and f- like learned what all the voices sound like yeah without the editing and he's like it is so weird <laughs> so oh, he like cool. found the magic frequency and then there's like these episodes um of south park where they have like the member berries hmm. which is just like these li- weird little berries that say member and then they talk about all this other stuff like nostalgia stuff yeah because everyone now is just like, you remember this? You remember that? And I'll show you a clip of the member berries, but okay. he uses that frequency for the member berries. <laughs> and he's like, it's like a magic frequency. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, just side note. All right. Um, so what, how, do you, how would you rank these trailers? I'd probably great or from the one I'm least excited for Grinch to unfriended to Halloween. Okay. Uh mine's actually least excited is actually unfriended. Second, really was that bad for you? Yeah. I don't know like second is going to the Grinch because I think <laughs> Benedict Cumberpatch was a very very good choice for the Grinch and I'm holding out hope. Um, and then one, of course, is Halloween. Yeah. I still need, we still need to have a, th- yes. a party and watch them all. We got to do it before summer's over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that covers all the trailers for the week. So you don't got anything else? No. Okay, so let's jump to our duo main event of the evening. Time for the game. Let's play game. The first thing that we're going to do is our reference fail showdown to see who loses for the month of May. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do, we have a list of six movie quotes, but we're only going to do five unless we tie. And then whoever, so I'm going to quote a movie, and then Rose has to guess which movie it's from. And then if he can't, then he gets a point, and then same for me. If I can't get it, then I get a point. Yep, yep. So. Let's do it. Yep, let me just try to pull that up tallies okay so you want to go first sure all right i got worms i beg your pardon that's what we're going to call it i got worms we're going to specialize in worm farms oh shit (laughs) (laughs) i am not off to a great start (laughs) got worms I feel like that's like the 10 ways to cook fried worm or no. the wor- cook worm How movie. to eat fried worms? How to, yeah, that's it. No, it's not from that. Oh, gosh damn it. Can I at least say like the genre of movie it is? No. Okay. No, that's that's too much. I think it'd give it away. Okay. Yeah, I would. Like, I'll see if I, if I can't get this because it's like I know the quote, dude. It's like going through my head. I can't. <laughs> freaking couple with the movie gosh damn it (laughs) 
Uh, I want to say it's a children's movie. Nope. No? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. I got worms. I beg your pardon? That's what we're going to call it. I got worms. We're going to specialize in worm farms. Oh, my gosh. I'm betting it's comedy. Yep. You're right. It's not Deadpool, is it? No. Ghostbusters? Nope. Gosh damn it. Shit. I give up. Dumb and Dumber. Gosh damn it! <laughs> you know I don't know that movie very well. <laughs> You've seen it though. I have seen it though. I can't Shit. believe you didn't get that. <laughs> it's one of the funniest parts. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> yes. Alright. see what you got. Okay. Um... See which one I want to do first. All right, let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Ghostbusters! Shit! <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that took me a while. Gosh damn it! <laughs> yep, it is Ghostbusters. Gosh, you asshole. <laughs> thought it was going to be harder than that. Okay. This one should be easy for you. Okay. Okay. Normal? What do you know about being normal? What does anyone in this family know about being normal? We act normal, Mom. I want to be normal. The only normal one is Jack-Jack, and he's not even toilet trained. You probably could have left out the Jack-Jack part. Ah, well. But, like, some of the quotes that I used... Oh, sorry. Was, or I took out the stuff that would easily give it away. My bad. But incredibles yep good job nice okay would you have got it though if i didn't say jack jack yeah i probably okay. would have okay. just because i i know that's seen pretty yeah. well um okay people would look to the sky and see hope i'll take that from them first Ultron, Avengers, Age of Gosh, Ultron. you suck! <laughs> like I said, you're probably going to get like four of these. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright. That's it. There's a limit to how much I can take. This is nuts, and I have a very high tolerance for nuts. If this is what, if this is what it takes to be human, then I'd rather spend my life as a supernaturally possessed doll. It's less complicated. Chucky. But which one? Oh, you bastard. Does that can I say that? Or does it just count uh, if it's Chucky? Let's just Well, just cuz I we we're going to do since we send multiple guesses. Yeah. So I'm going to try and get this one though. Okay. See to Chucky? Yep. Yes. Good job. <laughs> oh boy. Nice. Okay. Here's my next one. Guy came in here looking for you, real grim reaper type. I don't know, might further the plot. Oh, Deadpool. Ah. Weasel. Yep. Damn was it the might further the plot thing? Yeah. Gosh damn it. Uh. <laughs> Dang, you're giving me like easy ones. I know. I kind of got you some hard ones. Okay. Um. I had to search the bounds of hell, but I found someone. Someone who'd make them remember. He may get the blood, but I will get the glory. And that fear is my ticket home. Oh, shit. Obviously not a kid's movie. No. It's in the horror genre. Yep. I'm trying to... It's not paranormal activities. Nope. Because they don't talk about... This isn't another Chucky, is it? No. Is this Freddy vs. Jason? Yep. Nice! Attaboy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, at the beginning. Good job. Sweet. How many have we done so far? Uh, Three. Okay. I still got three more. Yeah. I don't want to do this one because this one's like super easy. Wait, I only have two more. 
How many did you do? Five? I thought I did six. Why am I then just five? Mm. No, I did six. All right. Huh. Let's see if you get this one. Okay. You are different from the rest. Your heart is pure. Rejoice. The broken are more evolved. Rejoice. The Hobbit? Nope. Lord of the Rings? No. Harry Potter? No. Is it a superhero movie? Technically. Is it Marvel or DC? Neither. Oh, damn it. Dude, you got me. I don't know. For real? Yeah. Sweet. What is it? Split. Dude, I've only seen that movie once. I know, I have too. Oh. That's a good one. Sweet. Now we are tied. Okay. 1-1. One, one. All right. Winds in the east, mist coming in, like something is brewing, about to begin. Can't put my finger on what lies in store, but I believe what's to happen all happened before. Oh, ball sack. Wait, sorry. I fear what's to happen. I'll happen before. Or I feel, sorry. Is this another horror? No. Is it Hobbit? No. Lord of the Rings? Nope. Is it a fantasy movie? No. It's not a fantasy. Nope. So... It's kind of like, sounds like a mystery. No. Mm -mm. It isn't? No, it's not a mystery. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you sure I've seen this movie? I'm pretty sure. I swear. Okay. Let's see. I mean, if you haven't, I don't get a point. Um. He's talking in riddles. But what happened before makes me think time travel. Or something no, regarding time. No. Not no. time travel, like. Hellboy? No. No. <sighs> Is it a kid's movie? Uh, it relates to a kid's movie. It relates to. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> uh. Like, the movie it's going off of that, like, it's following the story of is a kid's movie. I know I'm making no sense right now. Nope. <laughs> Gosh damn it. I don't know. Saving Mr. Banks. Ah! You've seen that, haven't you? Yes! Yeah. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> damn it, I was hoping we'd... We would tie because my other two are super easy. Ooh. Or my other. Um. Gosh damn it. Alright. I have a dimple on this side, but not on this side. Dimple? No dimple. Dimple? No dimple. <laughs> Coco. Shit. I'm the worst. Yeah, you kind of are. You have another one? Yeah, so. So you don't want me to say the names, right? Yeah, don't say the names. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna say blank. You're growing up. You're growing up now. You go get it. Blank. Your ball just landed on blank's lawn. It doesn't exist anymore. Oh shit! Is that Monster House? Yep. Yes. Good job. All right. The last one I got is Quiet Musical Hog. Oh, Toy Story 3. Gosh damn it. You got one more? I'm trying to think of one. Uh, this would, um, this is going to give it away. Uh, I'm Nemo. Nemo? That's a nice name. Fine, Nemo. Yep. That would have been totally cheating if you would have blanked out that name. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, shit. Two to one, your favor. So I lost for June. Yeah, May, sorry. Gosh damn it. Another challenge of the master. <laughs> Just kidding.
Next showdown, dude. I'm freaking getting the hard ones. <laughs> yeah, dude, you got... I thought you were going to get some hard ones. I Come did. On, so man. it was split, but you're like you were picking movies I've only seen like once. <laughs> I thought that was the point. Don't you want to trick the other one up? Yeah. You should know me. I've like, seen Coco like eight times. I wasn't sure how many times you've seen oh, it. Oh, I've seen Coco many, many times. Damn it. Same thing with Deadpool. Like, really, with Ghostbusters, I mean, come on, I've seen that a million times. That one almost tripped you up. Yeah, that a did. A little bit. Yeah, that did. But, gosh damn it. I don't know. I was thinking, like, Guardians of the Galaxy for some reason. I thought, like, Star-Lord said. I'm like, no, duh. Oh, yeah, Vankman. <laughs> cool. So, let's get to our, since I lost for May... Gosh, damn it. You, Actually, I already have an idea what I'm going to get. Well, I need to lose next month because I already have three, two pops lined up. Is that how it works? Just let me lose, damn it. <laughs> They're taking up space. Happily, just keep, like, mess up words or something. Okay. Um, Let's see if I can find that list again. Okay. So... For the s second part of our main event of the evening, we are going to do a Marvel Superhero Showdown. And this one, I'm going to do movie versions. Because I think certain versions, like of like comic book versions of these heroes, could beat um, other comic book versions of it. But I think the MCU ones could beat... The heroes. Okay. So, I will be writing these down. So, the first showdown, Captain America versus Rocket. Hmm. I want to say Cap. Really? Yeah. I was going for Rocket, really? dude. Really? I was going mm -hmm. Cap would block every single shot, throw his shield at him, Rocket's dead. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Cap Rocket... could take Rocket. No. You sure? I don't think so, dude. Rocket has, like, the space gadgets and the friggin' Rocket that could blow up a moon. That's true. Okay. And you see how he took on the frickin' Ravagers, right? Yeah, true. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to give that to Rocket. <laughs> how are you always able to do that? What, convince you that yeah. otherwise? Well, it's... I think it'd be a freaking close fight. Oh, yeah, it'd be, definitely be a fair fight. But I think... I don't know if Captain America's prepared for space gadgets. True. And, you know, the fighter that's, you know, half of his size. Actually, less than that. Yeah. I, I mean, he's fought Black Panther and... I don't know. No, I agree. All right, next one: Iron Man versus War Machine. I actually am gonna go with War Machine. Oh, you, I'm going Iron Man, dude. What the hell, dude? Iron Man's suits more advanced than War Machines. But have you seen the type of guns that War Machine has on his? He yeah, but have you seen the type of advancements that Iron Man suits has? Okay, uh, advancements cool. Guns. Is there really a question? Yeah, because he could deflects guns. Deflects? Or he, like, bullets. Just effing with you. Um, like, especially if it was, like, his new suit oh, his from nanotech? Infinity War. Yeah. Okay, yeah, shit, I'll have to give you that one. So, Iron it's, Man. It's, like, like the one of, like, the closest battles in Marvel history, though. Yeah. Iron Man versus War Machine. This one's not very hard. Thor versus M'Baku. Yeah, M'Baku. I'm just kidding, <laughs> Thor. Hulk versus Drax. Hulk, duh. Yeah, no freaking question, dude. But wait, can Hulk see Drax? That's the question. <laughs> Ooh, good question. I'm going to say yes. Okay. 
I mean, if if Mantis can. <laughs> Just the way she walks in. Hi, Drax. Damn it. <laughs> Ooh, Black Widow versus Falcon. He has wings. But she's trained in... Ah, I don't know. I'm giving this to freaking Widow. Yeah, I think I would too. Yeah. Even though I love Falcon. <laughs> oh, we're going to be very separated on this one. Let's hear it. Bucky versus Hawkeye. Uh, Hawkeye. I'm giving it to Bucky, dude. Sorry, I'm not agreeing with you on this one. Dude, I'm are you not, shitting me? I'm not letting my favorite superhero lose. Because that is a fair fight. Let's, is it though he has guns? Uh, Let's say um, Hawkeye's out in the distance. One shot to the head and Bucky's dead. You could say the same thing about Bucky with Hawkeye. He's a trained sniper. But let's just say Hawkeye has the upper hand here. Okay, well, let's say Bucky has the upper hand. No, 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 we're not going that direction. <laughs> no, Hawkeye has the upper hand here. You're giving Hawkeye an advantage? Yeah. You That's know not why? fair. You know why? Because he wasn't in Infinity War. That Okay. I'll give you, I'll give you this one. Thank you. Because this is bullshit. <laughs> yes. I'm only giving you this one because I know you won't give up. Yeah, thank you. Vision versus Black Panther. I want to say Vision. Or is it Black Panther? I don't know. But <sighs> you know one's... what's really funny? Is Vision and Black Panther right next to each other on your pop shelf. Yeah, they are. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> like the comic book versions, too. Yeah. Where's my other Vision? Oh, he's up there. Aw, oh, dang it, you should put the MCUs next to each other. That's a hard one. It is a hard one. I don't know, considering how much technology Black Panther or T'Challa has behind him. Yeah, he does. But his suit's not as advanced as Vision is. That's true. And then, like, who knows? Like, I'm giving it to Vision because he was made out of vibranium. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay. All right, Scarlet Witch versus Gamora. Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Spider-Man versus Ant-Man. Considering Ant-Man whooped Spider-Man's ass in Civil War, I'm going to go with Ant-Man. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could give it to Spider-Man. I do too, but yeah, no, Ant-Man. This isn't really a fair fight, but Shuri versus Heimdall. Nah. Heimdall's a god, though, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> that sucks, because I want to give it to Shuri. <laughs> yep. So, Heimdall? Damn it. Yeah. Okay. Loki versus Akoya. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. I don't know. Cause do you think Okoya would fall for his mischief? Just because I think she hasn't been up against it. Yeah. I want to say she would fall for it. Yeah. But I think she'd only fall for it like once or twice. But I don't know. Would Loki be able to get the upper hand those couple I don't times? Know. I don't because he, Thor's fallen for it for, like, a lot. But yet Thanos never did. He just, like, pauses it right in the air when he's about to stab him in the neck. He's just, like, undying. That's kind of a poor example. Okay. I think Thanos knew. Yeah, true. Okay. I think he kind of gave him away when, like, because what, Thanos would have had to bring up Odin at some point. That's true. Question though, was either Cole, Proxima, or um, Corvius behind Loki at all? Yes. How the hell did they not see that spear in his hand? Or that blade in his hand? He wasn't hiding it that well, was he? It, he was hiding it pretty well. Oh, he was? Yeah, I think only Th Thor was able to see it because yeah. he was in... 
Loki was like in front of them, and he was hiding it behind his forearm. Oh, uh, okay. oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, the forward, like right to the left of Thanos. Yeah. So, <sighs> Ebony Ma didn't react like I if thought, Loki I didn't have he... magic, I'd give it to Okoya. But yeah, since he's but I'm giving it to Loki. Yeah, I agree. Okay, this one's a super not fair fight. All right. I'm going to say Thanos, because Thanos is on here, without the Infinity Gauntlet. Okay. Versus Hill. Still Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> he could literally squash her like a bug. Yeah. Sorry, Hill. Groot versus Wong. Uh, I want to say Wong. Just because of how badass yeah. he is? Yeah, I'm giving it to Wong. Sorry, Groot. Okay, Star Lord versus Pepper. Star Lord. But she still has the extremist stuff. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and he lost the being, basically being a uh, a god when his father died. So he's just back to having normal damn space it. gadgets. Uh, and damn it! I'm gonna have to give it to Pepper then, right? Or do we want to get? Or would it be Star Lord? I don't know. He That'd has be... a lot of training with with his space gadgets. Yeah. Yeah. I want to give it to Star Lord. I mean, who knows how much st- training she's had with Extremis. Exactly. And he's he's kind of a trickster too. Yeah, I'm going to I'm still I'm going to have to give it to Star Lord. Yeah, me too. Strange versus Nebula. Strange. Yeah. <laughs> Is that even a question? If. Okay, I was going to say if Doctor Strange didn't have his magic, but that wouldn't even be a fair fight. No. Like, uh, not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> Nebula would freaking destroy. Valkyrie versus Mantis. Valkyrie? You think? Or, or I don't know, actually. Yeah, I know Mantis. Dude, this one's tough. Because. Mantis is still pretty badass, like as a fighter. Yeah. No. But it'd be once she She does kick names and take ass. Yep. If Valkyrie. Valkyrie would have to land a a blow on Mantis before Mantis touched her. True. But once Mantis touched her, it'd be over. Yeah, true. That's a tough one. Yeah, so if we're going based on how the MCU is right now, yeah. Valkyrie doesn't know how Mantis works. True, true. So I'm going to say that her thinking that Mantis isn't a threat up close. Yeah, that kind of gives her fate there, right, right there. I don't know, I'm going to go with Mantis. Yeah, me too. Okay, going back up, Rocket versus Iron Man. Ah, damn, that's hard. I don't, I, Iron Man or Rocket? I don't know. That's, that's so a fair we're, fight. So we're thinking Iron Man with his nanite suit. Okay. What does Rocket have to work Rocket with? has, like, whatever Rocket builds. Okay. So we could have like that moon destroyer shit, and I'm not 100 percent certain Iron Man would be prepared for that. That's true. But he also was able to take on Thanos with that. That's true. Because freaking Iron Man is scrappy as shit. So I'm leaning more towards Iron I Man too. So let's give it to Iron Man. All right, the ultimate battle: Thor versus Hulk. Oh, that... I, I, I... Didn't Thor win in the Avengers? In the Avengers? Yeah, when they fought in the the helicarrier. That doesn't count. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I can't think of any other time they've fought in the MCU. Oh, yeah, shit. Really? So, you mean the the movie dedicated to them fighting? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Thor, then, right? <sighs> Thor kind of kicked Hulk's ass at the end with, when he, like, really brought out that thunder. Okay, but Hulk was 100% ready to take Thor out until that, okay. the Grandmaster zapped Thor. I mean, I'm 100% certain that that lightning stunned Hulk. Yeah. But it was freaking game on after that. Yeah, that's true. Like, this one's so freaking equal, dude. Yeah, it is. And I wish that I could, sit, like, cheat and say, like, the comic version. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, the madder Hulk gets, the stronger he gets. But I'm not. we're not sure if that's how... MCU Hulk works. True. That's very true. As much as I hate to say it, I'm going to give it to Thor because... Really? Because he has Stormbreaker now. Yeah, okay, yeah. Hulk's kind of screwed. With yeah. Stormbreaker. But if it was like a fist fight between them... Oh, yeah. Hulk would kick Thor's ass. Yeah. As much as that freaking pains me... All right, Widow versus Hawkeye. This one, you're not changing my mind. I'm giving it to Widow. What? Yep. Why? Did, remember the f first Avengers? Yeah. She kicked his ass. But, okay, but he, yeah, but he started to snap out of it, and he's just like, Natasha, and then she kicks him in the face. Yeah, after so she he finally already... understood what he was doing. No, after she freaking whacked his face into a, a bar. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's going to stun him. <laughs> Regardless of the state that he's in. <sighs> Damn it, yeah, fine, Black Widow. I hate you. I know. Well, you're here a loss, too, so. <laughs> that makes right. me feel a little better. Oh, dude, these ones are hard. Vision versus Scarlet Witch. Oh, damn. These are really good. Um, I want to say... Witch. Yeah, considering that she can control this... Or destroy the stone that is the only way that he's being kept alive. Yep. But if this was like a not-to-the-death fight... Vision... No, if it was a not oh. to the death fight, I'd still give it to Scarlet Witch. Yeah, because yeah, she, she can manipulate the stone and change, like in Age of Ultron. True. That's or no, true. not Age of Ultron. Civil War. Civil War. Yeah. Who? That could have been a really bad fail. <laughs> oh, I should have called you on that, but I lost it too. I corrected myself. Yeah. Ant Man versus Heimdall. Why does Heimdall have to be a god? Can I say Ant Man? Dude, I'd have to give it to Ant-Man 2. Because he could grow big and just, like, pound yeah. on Heimdall. Yeah, I'm giving it to Ant-Man. Yeah, me too. Argue with us if you disagree. <laughs> yes. Alright. Oh, gosh damn it. Loki versus Thanos. Thanos without the gauntlet, though? Thanos without the gauntlet. I don't know. I still want to give it to Thanos. I'm, I'm leaning that way too. Yeah, because let's face it, Thanos. Could, even though Loki's the god of mischief, Thanos could still kick his ass. Yeah. I mean, he kicked like, Thor's ass. That's not fair. He had a power stone, or had the power stone. Yeah, sure. You keep telling yourself that. No, forget you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just. I don't know. That kind of makes me happy that I can hold that against you. That. The Hulk lost to somebody. He lost to the Great slash Mad Titan. Dude, I hope Hulk gets a freaking rematch. You're going to hate me? I actually d don't want him to because I don't know. I don't want to see Thanos get his ass kicked. I do. I don't <laughs> because I love Thanos so much as a villain. You can go to hell. <laughs> like, I would want Thanos to win again. Sorry. So are we giving this to... The Thanos? Yeah, Thanos. Ooh. 
Wong versus Star Lord. Wong. Really? Yeah. I think Star Lord would be pretty scrappy in a fight against but Magic Man. Wizard. Normal guy that is good with gadgets. I still. You want Wong could just keep teleporting him into different places. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> what? I'm if it so... was like a, an arena where they couldn't do that. Okay, well that's gay that Wong can't do that. Like, what if it was like the mirror dimension? Where he couldn't disappear, like, anywhere? I don't know, because he still just has some really good magic that can hold, that he can definitely hold his own against Star Lord. I agree, but Star Lord's so adaptable. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Star Lord. All right, Doctor Strange versus Mantis. Doctor Strange. Yeah. That's not even a very close fight. No. Because I don't think Doctor Strange is a very good hand-to-hand -hand combatist. No, he's not. I mean, at least not in the MCU. I know he's pretty good in the comics. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Jumping back up, Iron Man versus Thor. Thor. Yeah. Widow versus Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. Yep. Ant Man versus Thanos. I don't know because someone posted that funny meme of like Ant Man shrinking <laughs> down. Yeah. yeah. What? Well, yeah, shrinking and down, then, going like, into his ear, and then just going. <laughs> it's, it's like Infinity War solved. I do think if that fight would go on forever, though. It would. I think he'd be tiny and then just like grow big and just bam. Just... Can you lean more towards Ant Man? Really? I want to. But it is I... the great Titan. Match. Uh, the only. So. With th this fight, if Ant Man couldn't grow big, yeah. I would give it to Thanos. Okay. But he can. Yeah, that's true. So I think it would just be freaking ground and pound. <laughs> and, like, I don't know if how Thanos could take that. Yeah, like, at least true. that, a beating that bad. I have to get the Ant-Man on. Ant-Man? Yeah. All right, Star Lord versus Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Yeah. It's not much of a fight. No. Okay, Thor versus Scarlet Witch. Oh, Cause Scarlet Witch kind of got the upper hand in Age of Ultron. But on Thor. Yeah, but oh, I still want to give it to Thor. She her mind games is isn't like obviously it's effective yeah. against like putting him out of commission for a, a bit yeah but I think he'd get through it true true because he wasn't affected at first no he wasn't like they did the magic and then he like was walking and he's like I am mighty and then it like walks into like the great hall and he's like oh shit <laughs> So, because I'm also giving him Stormbreaker in this. Yeah, Scarlet Witch is kind of screwed. Yeah, so I'm giving it to Thor. Okay. Then Ant-Man versus Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange? You think? I don't know, because I feel Doctor Strange could do, he could play a lot of games with Ant-Man. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how Ant Man powers would work in like the mirror dimension and like with all the weird manipulation that Yeah. I get happens. You. So 
I don't think it'd be that effective because the world would always be changing. True. That's very true. And so I don't know if he'd be able to turn big because he'd freaking wreck stuff. Yeah. And I don't know if he'd be able to go small because he would fall through stuff too. Yeah. And then Doctor Strange could just cheat and just hover. Doctor Strange. Yep. My boy Benny. I'm just kidding. <laughs> promise I'll never do that again. Please don't. Alright. So we'll do our third place battle first. Okay. Scarlet Witch versus Ant-Man. Scarlet Witch? Right? You think? I don't know. Did she ever... Oh no, she, her and Ant-Man were on the same team, huh? Yeah. That sucks. I know, right? <laughs> Damn you, Russos. So this one I'm going to have to go back a little bit okay. because I feel Vision could be Ant-Man. True. But then Scarlet Witch could beat Vision. So I think in, by default Scarlet Witch could beat Ant-Man. Yeah, that's true. Because she was able to like throw Captain America, take the smoke, take an explosion. I think even if he turned big, she'd be able to like force him out of the way yeah that's true so we'll give third place is Scarlet Witch yeah okay now the main battle Thor versus Doctor Strange dude this one would be freaking hard it would be this would be a fantastic battle to watch, though. Like, the visual spectacle it would be. So Thor has Stormbreaker, though, right? Thor has Stormbreaker. I don't know. I know Strange can play games with him, but I still see Thor coming out on top. I don't know, dude. Like, this is Damn where it's, like, strange. freaking tough. Because yeah. Doctor Strange was able to take Thanos on with, what, three of the stones? Yeah. He had the power stone, the space stone, and the soul stone. The soul stone, and then he. How many stones are there? Five. No, there's six. The, there's the, six. Yeah, there's one, two, oh, three. Oh, he also had the reality stone. Yeah, that's what it was. So Doctor Strange was able to hold his own against Thanos with four stones. That's impressive. That is hell of impressive. <laughs> and it, but like. With that, Stormbreaker was able to cut through all six of their magic. True. Dude, this would be a Why freaking epic fight. Why does Stormbreaker have to be so damn powerful? I know, right? Well, it's because, you know, the yeah. story. Oh, I know. Built by the same dwarf. Yeah. Oh, Is there my gosh. such thing as a tie? I'm just kidding. Here's another question. Yeah. Could Doctor Strange get Stormbreaker away from Thor? That's a very good question. Does the does whoever holds Stormbreaker need to be worthy, like Mjolnir? I would think so. I don't yeah, know. but the only reason that was required was because Odin put that magic spell That's on true. Mjolnir. That's so really does. True. I hope they explain that. Yeah, I I agree. I mean, I'm. I don't know if it was just because Stormbreaker was incomplete, but Groot was able to lift Stormbreaker. Well, I mean, well, even yeah. for a little bit. I also want to know what the original handle looks like. I know, right? Me too. <laughs> I want. I want the. Russo I mean, Brothers I'm not judging a uh, Groot's craftsmanship. But... Yeah, super creative. Yes. Dude, there's so many variables to this. I know, right? Like, if Doctor Strange can pick up Stormbreaker or, like, get it away from Thor, Doctor Strange would win. Oh, yeah. Hands if he down. can't, then I think Thor would. Yeah. Even if it was, like, he was to teleport Stormbreaker, could he... 
could Thor make Stormbreaker access the Bifrost to bring him back? I have no idea. If this came down to like a hand to hand battle, I think it'd be Thor. Oh, yeah. Is that how we should judge it? I think they'd be just too equal. They would. I agree. So I've, I'm going to... I think I'm going to give it to Thor. Yeah, me too. Just because the Stormbreaker can take on all six Infinity Stones when we know for certain that Doctor Strange can only t can take on four. Yeah. So... Thor it is, then. Thor it is. So... Our top three, we got Thor as our first place winner, Doctor Strange as a very close second place, and Scarlet Witch as our third. You yeah, boy. And then Ant-Man fourth, and then it's just too many to go from there. It's downhill from there. I wish Thor or Thor and Hulk weren't put together. Yeah. Because I think in a fair fight, Hulk could kick the shit out of Thanos. Yeah, okay, that's fair. It's still insane watching him get his ass kicked, though. Oh my gosh, dude, that made me cry inside. I, I, I thought I heard some sniffling. It wasn't sniffling, I just went... <laughs> oh yeah, that was, was it, what it was. It's more of a squeal. You pussy. But, 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 Hulk. It's okay, Caleb. He's Dude, I'm still holding on to the theory that Hulk doesn't want to go Hulk because he's on Earth. Yeah. And I'm hoping that's true. Or he's just an asshole. Like mm. Banner said. Yeah. I, ho I want Hulk to get a better be treated a little better in Avengers 4. Regar I want his story to be treated better than it was in okay, this one. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, okay. Because he, he kind of got the sh shit end of the stick along with Hawkeye. Thank you. So yes. I think Hawkeye and Hulk need to be have a pretty good story. I think same thing with Ant-Man. I think, not really Ant-Man. Yeah. Just. Kind of because he has his own movie. Yeah. Whereas Hulk and Hawkeye don't. Yeah, Hulk and Hawkeye don't. Yeah. We're assuming this is going to be Cap's last movie. Yeah, don't remind me. So I think the people that need to have a story that stands out would be Hulk, Hawkeye, Widow, and Cap. I think Iron Man got like a shit ton of screen time yeah. in the last one. Yeah. So I don't think we need to cover him very much. No. Thor did too. Yeah, Thor got a pretty good story arc. He had the most time next to Thanos. Mm. Didn't Gamora have more? Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, I think it was Thanos, Gamora, and then Thor. Yeah. For screen time. I mean, technically it was still with, like, grouped with Thanos. Yeah. So. Anyway. So, nice to know who the strongest MCU character is. Yeah, boy. Yep. He deserves it. Yeah, with how much he's lost. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Poor guy. Yeah. Um, so, I think that concludes this week's All Bros Showdown. Our double showdown. Yeah. That we had. So, yeah. So, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I forgot words. Wow. You remember? Uh, if you, uh, isn't it like if you 
want to subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Yeah, that. And then we also have a YouTube channel. We don't post a lot. Uh, like I don't think we've posted in like two months. But promise we're working on that. Um, we just need to like actually like get free time to be able to go out and go hunting. Um, yeah. I actually don't have drill for the next couple months, so whenever. Sweet. We should do it not this next week, or sorry, not this week, but the week after. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. So um, now that we know we don't shouldn't waste our time at the. What's yeah, that place? Dragon's that? Keep, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't have any pop figures there. Gay. They do. Like, they have one. Wow, one Funko Pop. Yeah. But it's out of the box. Oh, it kills me. I have a whole shelf of yeah, I know. ones that are out of the don't box. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, dude, I totally forgot. Uh, I was able to uh, get the Barnes & Noble exclusive uh, Gilderoy Lockhart. And no joke? Yeah. First <laughs> Harry Potter pop, actually. Noise. Yeah. Are you going to start collecting Harry Potter? Certain ones, not all of them. That's too big of a collection. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, along with all the iTunes and Google Play stuff, we also got a Facebook and Twitter, which you can follow us at the All Bros. Um, no punctuation in there at all. Just B-R-O-S. Um, I don't post a lot, but I'll, I will get better. <laughs> um, we can, you can also email us if you want to argue some of these matchups that we had, uh, with, the all bros channel at gmail.com so yeah let us know what you thought of our matchups and if anyone should have won and i hope that you guys help me in trying to convince rose that bucky would freaking beat hawkeye it's not gonna happen no well help me in that quest <laughs> or don't I think the only other controversial one was the Ammon and Thanos. Yeah, that's true. So, like, if it was Ant-Man versus Scarlet Witch, I think Scarlet Witch would have still won. Yeah. I think the result, the top three would have ended up being the same. Yeah, I agree. Um, So, yeah. Then next week we'll either have another... Like a f- one of these kind of episodes, not a movie review or anything. So if we don't do one on Incredibles next week, depends Incredibles on when. Two. I, Incredibles no. two. Gosh. Or depends on when I go and see it. Yeah. So you can find that out next week. So until then, this has been the All Bros Podcast and Deuces. Bye. What? Say bye? Yeah. You say bye. No, I say bye. That's what I say now. That's what you say now? Yeah. Why did you change the format, dude? Shut up. I gotta sneeze.